What's up, everyone? Welcome back to my channel. It is time for another episode of Weekend Watch. This is where I let you know how movies did in the previous weekend box office, but I also let you know what films are coming out this weekend to movie theaters, but also onto streaming services so you can decide for yourselves if you want to go out or if you'd rather stay in. So let's get started. I know you want to know about Godzilla vs. Kong weekend number two, but first I want to quickly mention about the groundbreaking deal between Netflix and Sony Pictures. So if you haven't heard about it, what's going on? Well, Netflix and Sony Pictures have done a groundbreaking, unbelievable, unheard of deal that no one knew was coming. Over the next four years, starting in 2022, Netflix is going to pay Sony Pictures $1 billion for their movies. What does this mean? Any movie that comes out underneath the Sony Pictures label, we're talking Spider-Man, the Jumanji franchise, Venom, Morbius. Once those films have their initial theatrical run, they are then going to go over to Netflix for 18 months. You heard me correctly. That's absolutely fantastic. Now there's other little details to this groundbreaking deal. So once Netflix has the movies for 18 months, after that, if they want to keep the movies, they have to go to Sony and broker a brand new deal. If they don't, then Sony is free to take those movies and go anywhere else to another streaming service. Now, you might be wondering, why is this occurring? What brought on this deal? Well, Sony Pictures doesn't have a streaming service that they're attached to, and they don't want to create their own. This is also benefiting Netflix because Disney Plus is hot on their heels. Netflix needs something that's going to increase their subscriber count, and I can't think of anything better than this. I mean, this is really amazing, and I've never heard of anything like this before. It's also very contemporary because with the pandemic, Everyone has a streaming service, and I think this is just the way it's going to go between movie theaters and streaming services. It's constantly evolving and changing, and with Netflix and Sony brokering this gigantic deal, I think this is going to change the future landscape of how we watch everything. And let's be honest, we're the big winners in the end because they're fighting and competing for our attention. This is absolutely fantastic. So this deal is awesome. Now let's get to the box office. Godzilla vs. Kong, weekend number two. How did it do? $13.3 million. I gotta say, I was a little surprised that it dipped down that much. However, it's still a good number considering the times that we're living in. So we're now at about 70 million with both weekends, $385 million worldwide. Fantastic. In the times that we are in, I've got no complaints about that. In the number two spot is Nobody with $2.65 million. It went to number three last weekend. I am happy to report it went up to number two. And then the number three spot was The Unholy with 2.4. Now, what is coming out new to theaters this weekend? Not a whole hell of a lot. We have In the Earth, another small horror movie with no marketing or advertising whatsoever. So it's not going to make an impact. Godzilla vs. Kong has another weekend to make some money. What about streaming services? Well, we have a few things out for streaming. Netflix, as talking about Netflix, they have, of course, a few options. On Wednesday is a comedy series starring Jamie Foxx. Dad, stop embarrassing me story of my life. And then on Friday, the movie is Synchronic with Anthony Mackie. Over on HBO Max, there's Mayor of East Town starring Kate Winslet. I really adore Kate Winslet. I think it's a crime thriller limited series. I'll probably be checking that out. And then of course, over on Disney Plus, we have episode five of Falcon and the Winter Soldier. And from what I hear, there is a big surprise cameo at the end of episode five that we are not going to want to miss. So that is everything of what's happening in Hollywood, in the box office, on streaming services. Let me know down below, what do you think of the news about Netflix and Sony and Godzilla vs. Kong? Don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.